Ground ball through the right side. Yes, will it score one or two? They're going to hold up Visconti as Cal does a good job of just putting it in play. And credit him with the first RBI of the ball game. Peter lines the first pitch he sees into right. That'll get down in front of Dan Speak, and the Sailfish now lead two to nothing. The 0-2, what is he going to go with? Fastball, got him looking. 2-2 pitch, breaking ball, swung on and missed. Third punch out for the big train. 0-2 pitch. Strike three, good time for a strikeout, as it looked like Capra may have been looking for something else. He gets the fifth punch out with a high fastball. Here's the pitch lined and through into right center field. Visconti had to wait until it snuck through. It's going to make it all the way to the wall. Visconti will be rounding third. Simon will drop anchor at second. Game tying RBI double, Kyle Simon. He's ready. Lined into left center field. That'll get down and it'll score two. All the way to the warning track, cutting it off is Wilson. He'll fire it back in, but not before. PBA takes the 5-3 lead on the Ryan Johnson two-run double. 0-1. Oh, there he goes, swung on a miss. Here's Johnson's throw. It's right on the bag. Vicenanza applies the tag. Hennessy hits it up the middle. Vicenanza fields, backhand throw. Low, but dug out by Tuffarello. Nice play. Here he comes to the plate. Breaking ball, could be two if they turn it. Flips Vicenanza to Visconti for one. Over to first for two. This one hit high and deep to left. Calderon looks like he'll have room. Makes the grab and that puts an end to a Friday night victory here for Palm Beach Atlantic. They win it 5-4 in exciting fashion here in the ninth over Florida Tech. PBA will play the infield back. He lines it up the middle. Vicenanza dives, makes the stop, throws to first, scooped up by Tuffarello, and a gold glove type play for Eddie Vicenanza. Line down the right field line, and it's in there. Doherty will score. Johnson goes first to third, and Visconti has another double. This one lined into left center field gap. That'll go for a while. Roland was off on the crack of the bat. He'll head into third. They'll wave him to the plate. Relay will not be, actually it will be made, but not in time. RBI double, Peter Rivera. Breaking ball, hit towards Visconti. He'll flip to second for one. This Ananza with the turn and scooped up nicely by Kyle Simon. Tommy getting a big lead. Lined into right center, but that's where they had him played. Will it get over the head of Rivera? It does. He cuts it off in the gap to hold him to a single, but that'll get the run home, and it's now two to one. Checks the runners. Here he comes. No, but he puts it in the perfect spot. Down and in, comes up empty. Strikeout Sean Horner. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. Foul tipped into the glove. Johnson showed it to him right away. 0-2. Swung on, got him. Johnson finds it at his feet. Steps out into fair territory and fires it down for another Horner strikeout. Swung on and missed. Capella is retired on the fastball, down and in. This one grounded down the left field line and into the corner. Visconti will go first to third. Will they hold him there? They will. Second and third, a double for Peter Rivera. And the Sailfish have him at second and third with one out. This one hit high and deep to left. Capella goes back to the wall. It is out of here. Three-run homer. Andrew Calderon puts the sailfish on top. Just inside the foul pole, Calderon comes back to hurt his old mates, and the sailfish now lead it four to two. Fast ball. Hit towards Visconti. He'll make the long throw over, gets it, and that wraps it up. Final score here in game number three, PBA four, Florida Tech three. Sailfish take the series.